from JFLS Fashion and today I'll be sharing with you another room decor DIY. So today's DIY is actually a painting DIY. I decided to switch things up because I've never done a painting DIY. So um, I got a lot of inspiration from a lot of social media, so like Tumblr and Instagram and in stores as well, specifically chapters. So if you are active on any social media or like to shop for room decor related stuff, you'll definitely see um, donuts everywhere. And for obvious reasons, because donuts are so cute and they taste good and they're great and they're, they're colorful and they're fun. Anyways, with that being said, um, I took a lot of inspiration based on what I saw on social media and what I saw at Chapters over the winter break. So over the winter break, I went to Chapters and they had a bunch of room decor related stuff and they had a bunch of printouts. And these printouts were very simplistic and very cute and I really, really liked them. And I came across a donut one and it actually had a donut in the middle, so a pink cute donut here, and then the text said, don't worry, be happy. So I thought that was super cute and definitely punny. And um, I took a lot of inspiration from that. Anyways, with that being said, let's just jump right into today's DIY. Alright, so some materials you're going to need for this DIY are a few paints. So you can use paints of any color. I am using beige, pink, and a bunch of other colors for the sprinkles. You're also going to need a canvas, a paintbrush, a paint sponge, and any circular object. You'll actually need three of them, but i only show you one in this um, example. And you're going to need a pencil. Alrighty, so let's get started. So all you want to do is get your canvas, your biggest circular object, and a pencil, and you're just going to roughly outline the shape of the circular object. So this will be the outside line, the outside line of the donut. And you basically repeat the same steps until you have all the circular shapes you want. <laughs> so here are a bunch of more circular shapes I drew out. And again using the same steps except for a smaller circular object, I'm just tracing the um, circular shape to make the inside of the donut. So this kind of indicates where the frosting is on a frosted donut. And now I'm just using um, a thread thing and that's going to be the donut hole. So it's just a smaller circular object and I do that for all of my donuts. Once you're done doing that, you can go ahead and grab paint of any color of your choice and you can just paint the inside of the donut. So that I'm using pink and this represents the frosting of the donut. And I actually did two layers, but in between each layer, I let it dry for about roughly 30 minutes in between. And once it's all dried, you can go ahead and fix any mistakes. I'm a sloppy painter, so I made a bunch of mistakes. So I just used white paint, and I just filled in the mistakes, covered it all up, and it looked good again. And now you're going to grab your beige paint and you're just going to roughly paint around the pink so it's going to be um, the non-frosted part of the donut so I do that for all of my donuts so it has a brown beige outline around the pink alright so here is my inspiration again it's a picture I took when I was at Chapter, so I'm just basically using this as an inspiration and I looked at it a lot to figure out where I want to place the sprinkles so here I am adding some white sprinkles you just kind of add dots or lines onto your donut and you do that with a bunch of colors so here is some red 
some yellow, some blue, I think. <laughs> some more blue. And basically that's all the sprinkles I added. And if you want, you can go ahead and outline your donuts with a black marker or pen. I'm using a pen and I'm outlining it because I thought it gives it I thought I gave it a more cleaner finish, I guess, and it looks more professional that way. Um, but it's up to you, either or, it looks cute no matter what. And now you are all done. Yay, donuts! DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely had a lot of fun painting it and filming it. Um, I am not the best painter, fun fact. Um, so if you are a little bit iffy about this DIY because you may not be a good painter, trust me girl, I ain't a good painter either. I, my painting levels are, they're not good, okay? Just trust me. <laughs> the fact that I can paint a donut though makes me feel a little bit better about myself. So if I can paint a donut, you can paint a donut too. Um, I've never filmed a DIY painting at all, so this is my first time. I hope that the camera angles are okay, and I hope that it was easy to understand. And I hope that my voiceovers help if the actual visuals were a bit off. But I did the best I could, and I hope you guys still enjoyed it. And I hope you guys um, maybe take some inspiration from it or want to try it out. So if you do try it out, please do tag me on Instagram at jfornow, and I'll check out your donuts. <laughs> that kind of sounded wrong. <laughs> okay, so with that being said, let's just end the video here. So um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.